this is Cow Cat. And, uh, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, Channel Loss and Moon. Um, yeah, we're not associated with them. And we got Kelly and uh, Werewolf. All of us hanging. Because we're doing a Transformer thing. So we're just here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, oddly enough, not Cowpoke, which is strange. Mm, I guess he didn't want to air his two cents into that one. Um, yeah, we're all wearing sunglasses just to be weird. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, so they were trying to raise up the Xers, X people of the Channel Awesome. We're trying to raise up new controversy uh, to keep it going for whatever reason. The, the Jones people moved on. And one of them got married. They moved on. Um, uh, the yeah, the, uh, the ex-wife should probably just, uh, you know, move on. Brad happened to do a movie review that was similar to that of Alice. And uh, the sick of fans complained about that too. So she complained back. And there was a flame for two days. Uh, well, great minds think alike. They probably just thought of the same movie review. Let's, let's review this bad Christmas movie about a karate Christmas movie. And it's like, well, yeah, sure, why not? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to review it because I've never seen it. But, uh, but you know, it's, it's not really a, 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 a deal breaker necessarily. I mean, it's the fuzzy face. I will react to stuff and such. I have been looking into the channel on some stuff and of the time, but I've changed the channel people. And that other guy, Cinematic Venom, who made himself popular based on making two random videos last summer. And a new one just a few weeks ago. Just a few days ago, actually. A month ago, yeah, roughly. Um, going on about how, um... Well, uh, he used footage from other people who changed the channel to make himself part of the drama. And in his latest video, doesn't want to be part of the drama. Well, he made himself part of the drama. He has no affiliation with the channel or something. Nothing at all. And he's just making it worse by being part of the drama. So he is part of the drama. Hello, cow cat. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah, well, we was going to meet in this here park in the middle of nowhere. But uh, as you can see, um, <laughs> there are people everywhere. So let's... Let's, uh, let's stroll about, I guess. Cause yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I was I was uh, the loon critic in one of your videos, eating food. So I wasn't the one eating the food though. I was just sort of there. Yeah. So uh, I understand that the change the channel guys have kind of either gone crazy or given up the ship. And that they are uh, doing that. And there was a guy walking a dog. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's what he's doing. As for the gaslighting comment, uh, they probably all were doing that. Because gaslighting is when you try to convince someone else that they're crazy. It's, a, uh, it's, a, it's not in the AMA. It's not in the uh, American Medical Association thing. It's not in the, it's not in the DSA either. It's just a, a thing like Stockholm Syndrome is a thing. Um, it's sort of a uh, wherewithal for like trying to convince someone else they're crazy when they're not. Well, in the case of a lot of the sick fans, they probably are a little crazy, but then again, if you want to be a presenter, content creator on one of those channels, you probably are a little crazy. Um, now that it's been almost two years since the, uh, since the uh, controversy, uh, which uh, made them not want to go to San Jose in 2018 and 2019. Oh, I know you met me here, but there's, there's too many people out here. So, so let's walk a bit down into the corridor. It's all your kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Mm. But basically what happened is 
of Brad Jones and them did a movie review of uh, Karate Christmas and then Obscure Sloopa did the same review as Turbo Show. Perfectly fine, great minds think alike. The sick of ants complained. She complained back as though she was complaining to Brad and apparently they still have issues. Uh, it just uh, fueled this flame war that was going on. But not, a, not anything we were involved in. And, um, and, <laughs> and we're not involved in. Uh, yeah, uh, one of them said, oh, I was blocked, and whatever, and the other one said I was doing this. This is really what happened, but they said they were. Um, <laughs> uh, the Cal Cat show, however, we weren't blocked from either of them. And as, as I indicated, we still have, we, we still subscribe to many of the Channel Awesome people, as well as many of the, uh, many of those that aren't on Channel Awesome people. So we, they're both in there. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, the, um, the one in 2017, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, we did that and put it in the Cillian Space books as a parody spoof scene on two different planets. They have sort of a version of the Channel Awesome scale. Uh, Cillian books, uh, Cal Cat, Mark's Card, Cillian books, um, com heavily changed about the 72 page blog. So it's, it's actually in print. Amazon can actually read it. Uh, but you can read, you should probably just read the original because it makes more sense than, you know, very storied version of it. As in, we made up shit, put it in. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, but, uh, but they, what they did, we didn't know them. Well, in 2017, there, were, there was a crossover, whereas my anime coverage basically uh, covered the Channel Awesome people went to Fanime, so, so I was there, and yeah, met Doug Walker and some of the other cast members, mainly Doug Walker, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I didn't meet Michaud or anything, I don't, I don't think I did, I don't know, <laughs> uh, it doesn't, it's been wrong, uh, yeah, so uh, in fact, our, our channel advised that, uh, that we, uh, to them that near the end of the season they should just do a an episode where several of the Xers just happen to appear at their studio and do a movie review or two. They did that. Took our advice. They did a review of, of It and Batman v Superman and a couple other things. They had like Xers just show up as if they were still buddies. So there you go. And they were there. Yeah, so <laughs> this is not the same extras as the extras for the other the other blog that was a cult. It's not like the Channel Awesome thing is kind of like a cult. But yeah. Um. So um, yeah. So yeah, they were they were in that one. So, so. It's not in uh, not in it too, but rather in the. So walking along, you cannot possibly identify. What this is, you pick them up here. Um, yeah, we're in the, uh, I, I'll just, yeah, we're in Hillcrest. That's where we are, it's Hillcrest. It's about 50 degrees out here. Um, don't know where Hillcrest is? Well, too bad. You ain't gonna track me, and you ain't gonna put up any fake, uh, fake SWAT team at Texas. Because that's not possible out here. Um, yeah. Psst. <laughs> Uh, apparently the uh, some sycophants of movie nights uh, they, they put up a fake uh, fake SWAT team thing that wasn't cool and uh, they had to scare the Brad Jones guy yeah he didn't make that up uh, actually there was a fake SWAT team but but what it was is somebody else it wasn't her she didn't do it yeah, the girl uh, Skouras Lupus didn't do it they blamed her but they didn't do it She's not responsible for her sycophants. And on the other thing is, um, the, uh, don't do that. <laughs> on the other thing, there was the, um, the, uh, the cinema, the, the Venom. Cinema Venom? Yeah, that's it. Uh, that guy put up another two-hour video ranting about how he's unstable. And he was dealing with other unstable people. Well, if you're on, if you if you're part of Change the Channel, or if you're part of Channel Awesome, Probably not exactly all there anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's probably what the case is. See, probably just not unstable. No. 
Just walking along here. Yeah. Other thing is this uh, cinematic venom guy uh, keeps blocking and then unblocking and talking to harassing rhetoric. Ironically, uh, the Xers who uh, don't like his rhetoric. <laughs> One of them called him an alt right person. I don't know if he's an alt right person or not. I don't think so. I think he's from another. He's from Australia or something. So he's not in there. And that was a guy even imitating. Also. Uh, also, in one of his videos, they mentioned a, the uh, the uh, the cow cat bong in there, uh, which was weird. And we already addressed that a couple months ago when we, in May, and said that no, we were not involved with that guy's video. And we asked him to take it down. Uh, Silly Kelly mentioned that. Um, yeah, he did. He took that part of the video out and said, "Oh, it was the music. That's what it was. Or it was a crazy guy. That's what it was. No, it was that he was using footage that he didn't get permission to use." The channel also people could have complained too, I suppose. But we're not affiliated in any way. And so this is how, uh, you know, here I am, uh, hanging out. Here I am. Uh, that's what I know about. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, down on the road, looking where I'm going, which you can't tell, because I got on these gun glasses. Yeah, there's a cameo on the top of the fourth wall. Oh. No, I was not actually in that. Come on. <laughs> hmm. How about the California crew that did the 11.9 Fahrenheit? I was actually in a cameo in the back room. But they didn't show it, so it doesn't count. Doesn't count if it's not aired. <laughs> That's right. Super. Yeah, the Justice League. Justice League review, that's what it was. Justice League review. They finally got around to watching Justice League newer review. Uh, and it was uh, it was really bad, so they had some extras show up in that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can watch the review and find out which ones they were. Apparently they're not extras anymore. Um, <laughs> they're at least cordial enough to appear in the story. Uh, X channel awesome people. Uh, the uh, Cinema Venom guy complains about uh, the, uh, the thing being Complains that the change the channel thing really didn't work. It just made people more angry. It made uh, demented people more demented. Made people that were uh, not all there more crazy. Crazier. Yeah, so. Um, after that, there was a scandal a year later. <laughs> but it had nothing to do with that. Um, but uh, yeah, and we've been doing little reports on it ever since. But apparently, this new information. Wants us to do something since the last time we did something was in May of this year. Uh, updating you, and so the change the channel people pretty much have stopped, except for a few sick of fans and the trolls who are just still trolling the trolls going on about it like crazy people and probably are contacting them to sick the law on them or something, which they shouldn't do. And sending 9 11, don't do that. Um, so just, yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah, they, they should not do that, and why don't they just do something else, more productive with what they're doing. Um, I don't know, try to make your own vlogs and stuff interesting, maybe you, maybe you can't, but there's no reason to go after the you know, awesome thing anymore, you're not going to get much out of them anymore. Although, granted, I don't think that the uh, original instigators of the production team from Boldly Fleet to Boldly Fleet, I don't think they are there working for them anymore. They were, they were asked to leave, uh, and uh, they're not there anymore. Um, that just leaves the whatever's left of some floating around. Uh, Phelan's not technically in it anymore. Uh, the car is not technically in it anymore, floating around out there. Uh, even though they had cameos in the Batman v Superman Justice League thing. Um, they have the, uh, and that other guy, Rob. Rob. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, not me. I wasn't there. I, I was here. I wasn't there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, even though they were technically there, that was what happened. Yeah. It just didn't work. Well, cinema, uh, Venom, partly cinematic Venom's fault because he was exacerbating it by showing clips out of context, including some from, well, including one from the show, which he deleted. Uh, also, there also there was some others that were not 
in context either that he posted in the new two-hour-long thing, rant thing. Um, <laughs> uh, that warned us, but we're like, uh, why are you still doing that? You just want to get more ratings, don't you? That's it. It's about ratings. It wasn't bots, it was ratings. Um, yeah, yeah um, for a little while it was bots. Once they realized what they were looking at, there was some guy just trying to troll the Channel Awesome and change the channel website and uh, the work of Soft Lavender and Alice and Pregmar. Uh, those guys. Uh, Soft Lavender and <laughs> Obscurus Lupus, I should say. Uh, and some of the others. And, uh, and, uh, and the top of the fourth wall, Linkara. Once they were doing that, once they realized they were trolling those guys, I mean, some guy named Ron that I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Ron person complained to him. And that's when he went off on a tangent, mostly about Ron for two hours. Don't know. Uh, I, the guy's harassing the guy on, on Twitter about, like, he, he's not even a big name either. His channel is smaller than the old Calcaccio. Why is he cranging that guy? He's not even, not related to us in any way, but not related to him either. So, but poor Channel Awesome, really. He's just a sick of fan from the ex-Channel Awesome people. That also was trolling them. So it's like, I'm gonna troll the other troll and be a troll. Yeah. We're like, uh, why? Yeah. Hey, that's my two cents, I guess. As we near the end of the year. I figured I'm gonna put all this stuff in the before the New Year's and here. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, what's the other point? Okay. The other point is <laughs> that uh, there's a movie critic lady, we ain't gonna name a name, is trying to uh, voice the drama as well. She was one of the ex Channel Awesome people. And she is making up elaborate stories about how, how she was uh, uh, beyond actual real stories where she was wronged uh, to fan the flames of the controversy including making up a story about a SWAT thing saying that the other guy did it or a sycophant did it but actually actually she made that up uh, there's there's no neither side said anything about that what really happened with that story is that some ex channel awesome sycophant wasn't her they, they thought it was her but it wasn't her the ex sycophant uh, called the cops on Brad Jones, basically. And of course, the cops showed up and said, well, we can't arrest you because you didn't do anything wrong. That's basically what happened. So that's all that was. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's a stupid call the cops. What, what's that gonna do? Anyway, um... So... They were in it. Uh, I was not in it. I was not in any of the movies. It was just, it was just that two, uh, the, the Linkara movie was very similar to something I would have done in the early days of the Cal Cat show. As I, you know, read my review of Atop the Fourth Wall, the movie, I just basically said, oh, this is something that I would have done. Not something that I did, something I would have done. Some of the sick of fans misinterpreted that as, oh, he was totally involved. Which is something I would have done. I mean, no, it, it basically, the Nostalgia Critic is basically what every other fan, like, movie geek guy does on the web. It's not original. The Nostalgia Critic and Stone Gremlins are not, are completely unoriginal. <laughs> they just copy everybody else. We're gonna, we're gonna do our videos in a car. Although, some of our suggestions have floated over there. Like, for a while there, they had a format in a house with, a, with, the, with the guy from, from Jesus Bro. They were doing like a bunch of stuff in a house, and it didn't work, so they stopped doing that for me. Uh, they went back to going in a car <laughs> and filming the reviews. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, sometimes our just don't don't work. Um, and they shouldn't have listened to us. Uh, if the car version works, they should have kept it. But they should at least keep them in frame, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so that's, yeah, pretty much, pretty much it. Um, I, I kind of like the start. Anyway, uh,
I mean, just, it's odd that, like, like, yeah, a cat. That's some stuff with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's odd that they're mean and going on about pet out. The cat. Here we are. Again. <laughs> Since May. Um, yeah, I was, I was the wound critic. It was a one-shot thing. I've been in a lot of the fan films, cow cat fan films. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've, yeah, a version of me has been there since the beginning. Uh, the trans tech, trans days, way back when. Um, <laughs> the live, uh, the comedy sketches on the radio. Uh, they were underground. They were never actually on a radio station. They were underground, just here broadcast. Um, yeah, so yeah, so. Um, yeah, I have no affiliation with that. Except for that. Can't they cut out. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh yeah, um hmm. Let's see what else is there. Well if I think of something else. You can you know, you know, put all this together. Uh yeah, so uh yeah, we're not we're not um leaving the other X channel often people we're not leaving Phelan or Obscurus Loop. We're not, we're not unsubscribing from them at all. We still subscribe to them. Uh, we're not leaving the channel of some people either. Uh, the Stone Gremlin. It's watched quite a bit. Uh, not so much Channel Awesome, actually, admittedly. We don't really look at him too much anymore. Uh, a weird cameo that looked like uh, Silly Kelly was in the, uh, in the It Chapter 2 review. It uh, looked kind of like him, but maybe it wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh oh, but no, he wasn't. Uh, but, yeah, um, no, he didn't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so here we are. Here we are on the street. Mm, yeah, it's, uh, the Loon Critic is, of course, uh, Werewolf Fuzzy Face. They she didn't know. Same guy. Yeah, so, <laughs> he's just uh, Billy Allen, a creature. Yeah. That is not a surprise or even an admonition. It obviously is him, because who else would it be? Who else is going to show up with Silly Kelly in the same video and do weird shit? But the other weirdo, the two weirdos. It's not all there. Radio show personality. Oops. Yeah. Didn't, they didn't show up at the Comic Cons and the Fanime anyway, so. We did, but the, the Channel Awesome did not. <laughs> We're famous then, uh, the guy with the Teddy Ruxpin cart thing, I keep crashing into it, you know, yeah. They, yeah, that they had, but, um, but, like, they should just let it, I guess they can't let it go just like the Cal Cat Show can't let, let the uh, subject of you know, Awesome and Change Channel go, because it's so weird and bizarre. There have been other scandals this year, with other YouTubers, but... For some reason, Channel Awesome, with its million, one million eight thousand, eight hundred thousand subscribers currently, that's, that's a lot. And this other guy with cinema, cinematic venom, venom, which has uh, lost a thousand viewers and probably is nowhere near a million. I think it's a hundred thousand or something. Not, not anywhere near the other content creators. Uh, I guess Movie Nights is doing okay. I guess they have a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand views. And they're all right. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I guess, uh, Phelan, too, is doing it. Uh, I understand they're not necessarily associated anymore. They're, uh, that even, even the Phelan channel is not associated directly with Obscurus Lupus movie nights anymore. They're not related. They did some stuff together, but decided not to. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get into their, whatever. Their, I don't know them. I'm not going to get into the drama. I don't know them. Um, so, um, in the end, um, having a werewolf fuzzy face going on about the draw. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is another long blog site, but it really is just more of the same of we're not involved, don't come after us, don't troll us. Um, so, <laughs> but look for us next uh, season on things. Um, uh, we were a long way away from, from there. The closest that they ever came to being here was on the Fahrenheit 11.9 review when they were literally 
700 miles away. <laughs> in, in Los Angeles. <laughs> they weren't here. Um, but, but yeah, uh, that's still 700 miles. Um, yeah. 